Look at them, Gwen. It's obvious Teresa's had a boyfriend all along, just like she said. Whitney, I am so glad you're still here. So did Gwen and Ethan believe that Chuck was really your boyfriend? It was a miracle. I was this close to confessing that there was never anyone for me but Ethan when Chuck appeared out of thin air and gave the most incredible performance. Well, what can I tell you? Move over, Johnny Depp. <laughs> he was so convincing, I almost thought he was my boyfriend. Thank you so much, Chuck. I really appreciate it. I know it was kind of a weird thing for me to ask. Anything but... <laughs> for my favorite doubles partner, Whitney. Besides, I can think of a lot tougher jobs than playing Romeo to her Juliet. If you ever get this guy Ethan out of your system, let me know. Don't I wish. I wouldn't count on it, Chuck. She's ridiculously obsessed. I am not obsessed, Whitney. I am in love. Besides, I can't get Ethan out of my system because he finally realizes that I'm telling the truth all along. What about Gwen? She's the one we need to convince. I'm not sure she bought it, but if Ethan did, what can she do? I'm home free. It's all just a little too convenient for me, Ethan. I'm not sure I believe that this guy's really Teresa's boyfriend. But he said he was. And he even explained why we never met him before tonight. And what more proof do you need? I don't know, but I intend to get it. It's been awfully quiet since we left the movie. Did you really like it? Oh, yeah, I thought it was brilliant. It just makes me wonder if... All men go through a midlife crisis. Oh, I'll let you know when I get there. Grace, you're not really worried that I'd ever look at another woman, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> of course not. Good. <laughs> hey, look, it's the kids. Hey, Kay. Hey, Mom. Jessica. Dad. Hi, sweetie. Mom. Hey, hey Gail. What's up, Reese? So cute. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I got an idea. Why don't we join the kids? No, 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 let's not. I don't want to share you with anyone tonight, including the kids. Mm. <laughs> the way your parents act, it's like they've just fallen in love. Yeah, they're always like that. Oh, it's so embarrassing. People their age all over each other in public. Oh, my God, are they still going to be like this when they're 50? Probably. You know, I think it's great. I mean, when you find the right person, that feeling can last forever. And Grace looks like she doesn't have a care in the world. You're not still having those premonitions, are you, Charity? I know it's weird, Miguel. But I keep sensing that somebody that I know is trapped in a small space, surrounded by water. Help! Help! Tim is trying to tell them, but he's not sure what to do. It's easy. Find that doe skin bag with Tabitha's curses. It contains the first spell Tabitha cast. Only that curse can change Tabitha from that ugly fish back into the ugly witch she is. Tabitha said it was in the old desk at the Crane Mansion inside a secret apartment. But where? But if we get too close, then we'll trip the silent laser alarm. Well, there's got to be a way. Unless you want to change your mind. No. Ivy and Ethan are out tonight, and Julian is away on a business trip. If there is something in my brother's safe that will tell us what happened to your father, I want to know as much as you do. Do you have the gun, Julian? Yes, Father. Whoever's downstairs trying to break into our safe isn't leaving here alive tonight. Even if it's Officer Luis? Especially if it's Officer Luis. No one can blame me for shooting an intruder who's broken into our home. After all, accidents do happen. Let 
can go, Gwen. But I feel bad enough already about accusing Teresa of lying about her boyfriend. Ethan, you seem much more concerned about Teresa's feelings than you do about getting to the truth. But we've gotten to the truth. Teresa has a boyfriend. His name is Chuck. I mean, they're obviously crazy about each other. What more do you want? I don't know. Look, I'm sorry, Ethan, but something just doesn't sit right with me about all this. Did you see the look on Teresa's face when Chuck first walked up to the table? She was just as stunned as we were to see him standing there. Well, maybe she had given up on him showing up at all. I mean, he said he had car trouble before. Or maybe she was shocked speechless because she's never seen him before in her life. <laughs> Wait, Ethan, please, just bear with me, just for a minute. I'll be right back. I've just got to call my coach, find out when we're leaving for this tennis tournament we've got tomorrow. <laughs> I just wish Chuck could have shown up five minutes earlier. Then I wouldn't have had to hear Ethan accuse me of lying to him. That was the worst moment of my entire life. How can you have the nerve to complain when you just escape certain death? Yes, you're right, you're right. Fate has handed me the most wonderful opportunity of my life. Fate? <laughs> it was me. Once again. I mean, come oh, on. Oh, and I can't thank you enough. And now that I've got Chuck to drool all over me, I can make Ethan jealous. Teresa. And it shouldn't take any time at all before Gwen loses it. Then Ethan will see her for the possessive shrew she really is. I can't believe you all forgot. Tonight's Witch's Night. Oh, yes. yeah. Witches night? It's an old harmony tradition. Yeah, once a year, according to local legend, all the witches who were burned at the stake 300 years ago try to rise from their graves. You're kidding. You don't really believe that. Well, who knows? I mean, last year we all went to the cemetery just in case. Don't worry, Charity. We didn't really see any witches. But maybe we will tonight. You want to go to the cemetery? You know, I, you guys go. Charity and I are going to hang here. Well, what's the matter, Charity? I mean, you're not really scared we're going to see anything. No. I, I don't it's know. It's just, just Charity's been thinking too much about death lately as it is. Death to all. Death to all. Death to all the Puritan. Death to all. Death Did to you all. hear that? They're calling out from their graves. Let's get out of death here. To all. Lighten up, Charity. Sometimes I think you'd be scared of your own shadow. You know, you should try to be more like Kay. That is so sweet of you, Miguel, to stay back with Charity. I mean, especially when you had the best time of anyone last year. It was no big thing. Are you kidding me? You talked about it for months afterwards. You said it was the most fun you ever had. I don't want to keep you from a good time. Well, I'm not going to leave you. Then I'll come. Never mind. You're purposely trying to freak Charity out. Hey, I can't help it if she has premonitions about dead people. If she's this jangled and bright light, imagine what she's gonna be like in a dark cemetery. What a twisted, you know that? I can feel it. Someone's in real trouble tonight. What time is it, Matilda? Why, Tabitha? Getting nervous about your little friend? Not at all. I'm sure Timmy will be back any minute with my bag of curses from the desk at the Crane Mansion. And he'll bring it back so I can be transformed into my lovely self again. I've seen the way you threaten him with that mangy cat of yours. What goes around comes around, you know. I'll bet he's on his way to Las Vegas, even as we speak. <laughs> Why can't Jimmy find that bag of curses? Tell the fit it was here somewhere.
careful. We don't want to set off the final alarm. Uh-oh. My brief alarm. Why if Timmy only tripped it? <laughs> so, why don't we all sit down? Oh, I wish we could, but Chuck's got to make it an early night, so... We better get going. Oh, well, I'm sure you don't have to leave just this second. Gwen. I mean, there are so many things I'd love to know about you. Like, where'd you two meet? Lighthouse so... Park. Hey, great news, guys. I got my dad's car to take to the cemetery. All right, what are we waiting for? Come on. <laughs> you sure you're okay about this? Yeah, I'm okay. It's just, you know that premonition I've been having about somebody being in trouble? It's getting even stronger. You know, we haven't heard this song since... Since we first started going out? <sighs> you had them put this on. You still like it as much as you used to? Grace, what's wrong? Look, Sam, I have a confession to make. Whatever it is, I forgive you. Look, Sam, don't tease. I'm not kidding. <sighs> Look, I am married to the most wonderful man in the world, and I have this beautiful, healthy family, and I should be thanking God every day for the wonderful gifts he's given me. But instead, all I can think about is seeing Ivy Crane in your arms on New Year's Eve. <laughs> You're still thinking about that? I know, it's silly. And it's just because of this crazy article that Kay read that said, in the stroke of midnight on New Year's, is whoever's arms you're in is who you're going to spend the rest of the year with. Well, then you tell that to your best friend, Eve. I mean, she was in Julian Crane's arms at midnight. <laughs> and Kay was in Miguel's arms, and we all know that Miguel is crazy about charity. So you see how ridiculous it is? is why I'm so ashamed hey, of these feelings. Don't be. Just know that I love you so, so very much. And you have nothing to be jealous of. Nothing at all. There's got to be a way to get inside this baby without setting the silent alarm off. I know you think there's something in there that will tie my brother to your father's disappearance. I'd better your salary on it. How else do you explain the connection between Julian and the man who poses my father? I can't, but I'm still not convinced that there is a connection. Well, I think you're wrong. Hey, I'm not trying to defend my brother or my father. I mean, they're ruthless men when it comes to business but I just cannot see them being involved in a cover-up that involves your family. Well, they were involved in something that they didn't want anyone to know about. And why else would Julian have this alarm system installed without even telling you? Sorry. Your arm was about to hit the beam. Thanks. Listen, you know, I can take the heat if I get caught, but you can't. I mean, who knows what Julian would do if he found out that you let me in here tonight? Go on back to your cottage. Let me do this. No, Luis. I'm not leaving you alone here. I mean, if my brother catches us, you're right. There's going to be trouble. But it's not me that I'm worried about. It's you. I can handle myself. Anyway, I think I know a way to get inside this baby. Teresa says school and you say the park. Which is it, Chuck? Both. <laughs> what are you doing, Teresa? Get him out of there before Gwen asks him even more questions he can't answer. Well, you see, um, I first noticed Chuck at school. He was a couple grades ahead of me, so he didn't even know I existed. Um, but the first time Chuck noticed me was at the park. There, you see? 
while you two are getting acquainted, I just need to tell Teresa something. Oh, but... We'll be right back. I wanted to say thank you. For what? Well, for getting Chuck to show up so Gwen could meet him. Oh, I'm just glad he can make it. Um, I'm not surprised. I'm sure you're pretty tired of Gwen accusing you of not having a boyfriend. It hasn't been much fun for any of us. <laughs> no, but thanks to you, it's almost over. I mean, now that Gwen's finally seen your boyfriend with her own eyes, she'll accept my marriage proposal. Oh, Ethan, you don't have to thank me for that. No, why not? I mean, if it weren't for you, it, who knows what my future might be? I just don't believe any of us control our destinies. It's all in the hands of fate. So, tell me, Chuck, how does Teresa's family feel about you? Especially her strict older brother, the policeman. What's his name again? Well, it's, um... Hey, Ethan, listen to this. I mean, Chuck's been dating Teresa for a while now, and he doesn't even know the name of her older brother. I find that rather odd, don't you? Well, how lovely to run into some friends. I was getting rather lonely with Julian out of town. Oh, well, where is he? Oh, away on business as usual. <laughs> well, Ivy, why don't you join us? Are you sure you don't mind? Well, actually, I was just telling Grace how much I treasure the time we spend alone. And you live a very full life, I'm sure you understand. But still, we would love to have your company. <sighs> wouldn't we, Sam? No, no, I wouldn't uh, dream of intruding on your private time. No, I just came here to look for a good book anyway, huh? Enjoy your evening. Thanks. Sam, why did you do that? You just told me how you felt about uh, Ivy. No, Sam, I like Ivy. I mean, it's not her fault that I have this ugly, jealous streak. Look, I know that it was just an accident that she fell into your arms on New Year's Eve. But I just hope that we didn't hurt her feelings. <laughs> Believe me, Ivy would have done the same thing in our shoes. You think so? Hey, I was just telling the truth. I want to be alone with you tonight. All night. All night, huh? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna give a call down to the station and warn them not to beat me unless someone is stealing the town. Mm. What the hell? I thought you said no one was home. <clears throat> I didn't think anyone was. I thought you were going away on business, Julian. Well, my plans changed. And I'm glad they did. I demand an explanation, Sheridan. <laughs> really, <laughs> Julian? I mean, even you can surely figure out what we're doing. I have eyes. That doesn't explain Luis's presence in our home, much less my library. He is my guest. We were out on a date and Luis brought me home, so I invited him in for a tour of the house and a brandy. <laughs> and I know you keep the good stuff in here. Oh, yes, in the bar, not by the safe. The safe? I had forgotten it was even in here. Is that why you're toting a gun, Julian? What, you thought someone was breaking into your precious stash of whatever it is you keep in there? <laughs> the silent alarm was triggered upstairs. I knew there was an intruder. Silent alarm? I didn't even know we had one. Is that new? I was going to tell you in the morning. I hardly thought I had to worry about you setting it off tonight while you cavorted with your date. We weren't cavorting. I can assure you we didn't set it off, Julian. No. Of course you didn't. Must have been someone else. Why don't you do us all a favor? Just put that gun down. Don't tell me I'm making you nervous, officer. I told you your little boy toy wouldn't make it back. Timmy must have been held up. I'm sure he'll be here by morning, and I'm safe till then, since no one in their right mind comes to a cemetery at night. Yo, witches! Come and get us! You're not scared, Kay? No way. I'm not one of those nervous Nelly types. Boo! K, 
Okay. Sorry. Just trying to get everybody in the mood. Well, it's not funny. It's up to you guys. But if you want to see the graves of the so-called Harmony Witches, they're not far from here. They're all buried in the darkest, dankest section. What are we waiting for? I'm ready. Hey, would you feel better if we waited for them back at the car? No, no, no. I don't want to ruin everyone's fun. You don't actually think we're going to see any witches, do you? No. It's, you know, that premonition I've been having? It's gotten stronger since we've been here. Charity and Miguel are here. Get rid of them before they find me. Oh, it's always all about you, isn't it, Tabitha? Well, this is my last, absolutely last favor for you. possibly be Teresa's boyfriend and not know the name of her older brother. Well, um, you see, the reason Chuck doesn't know my brother's name is because Luis is, is very strict with me. He would go crazy if he found out I was dating anyone seriously. So I've, I've never introduced them. You know, that's true, Gwen. I mean, that's why Teresa's never told her brother that she works for my mother. And I would appreciate if you wouldn't blow the whistle on me and tell him yourself. You have our word. Thank you, Ethan. Yeah, if that's all, Gwen. I could swear I know you from somewhere. I don't think so. I'd remember. Maybe it was on television. You wouldn't happen to be an actor, would you? <laughs> Hardly. Then what do you do for a living? Unless Teresa pays you to pose as her boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Ivy, I just wanted to apologize. Sam didn't mean to be rude. Ah, uh, no, 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 not at all. I, I completely understand you wanting to be alone. I'm crying. Uh, it must be quite a book. Ah, uh, it is. It's very, very powerful. Oh, let me guess. It's a love story. Yes. It's a triangle about a woman who's lost love and is desperate to find it. So you read it already? Yes, I have, but it would to me, and I'm thinking of reading it again. <laughs> How does it end? Are you sure you want to know? Oh, well, it's not like I have time to read any books these days, so you won't be spoiling anything for me. Well, one woman ends up crushed and miserable and alone, and the other one finds happiness. Ah, the woman that the reader is pulling for, no doubt. Well, maybe you should read it for yourself and find out. Oh, well, maybe someday. It's funny, though, in real life, isn't it? I mean, you can't help but feel for someone who's lost a real love. Someone who has to go through life with a crushed heart. Bah, but you and I are the lucky ones, right? <laughs> Married to the men we love who love us right back. It's not a good idea to point a gun at anyone. Even if it's not loaded. This one is. Well, stop playing cowboy, Julian. Now put that down. Now, if you can tell me what possessed you to put in such a high-tech alarm system, what are you protecting in that safe of yours? Not that I owe you an explanation, but it's where I keep my important corporate documents. I've read about these new laser alarms. Never seen one up close. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could show me how it works. For professional reasons, of course. I don't think so. You see, my, my sister may be fool enough to open our doors to you, but I have no interest whatsoever in showing you a damn thing around here. 
Sorry about my brother, Luis. He's not always this cranky. Well, actually he is. No problem. Thanks for ruining my date, Julian. I won't forget this. Nor will I, Sheridan. Don't come back. You know, I may be on your turf, Julian. If you ever point a gun at me again, you'll regret it. Stop right there! Someone's been going through my desk. Tabitha! Tabitha! Mission accomplished! Timmy Fave to Princess! What are they doing here? Why did they see Tabitha in the fishbowl? Don't worry, Kay! I brought a talisman with me, just in case something like this happened. Back to your grave, you heathen witches! Back, I say! It worked. Yeah. How did you do that, Reese? This kid just made it onto my enemies list. A Bible, no less. The cheapest trick in the book. I've just got a good mind to scare the pants off those brats. But I'm fried. You're on your own, Tabitha. No, Matilda. You can't leave me now. At least stay with me until Timmy comes back. It won't make any difference. Face it. You'll never bring that goody two-shoes charity over to the dark side. Nighty night. Don't go, please. Don't leave me alone in here. Don't worry, Princess. Mighty Timmy's on his way. Maybe we just freaked ourselves out because it's witch's night. Yeah, it was probably just a strong wind from the ocean. Well, how do you explain the rattling chains? And why did my Bible get it to stop? I hate to say this, but I think it was the Harmony Witches trying to get free. Don't listen to him, Charity. Where's Charity? I, I don't know. Charity! Charity! Don't leave me, Matilda. Sorry, your cat food, Tabitha. Miguel! Miguel, over here! <sighs> Thank God, you scared the hell out of me. Aww. You okay? Yeah, but look, now I know who's in trouble. <sighs> That's a good one. As if Teresa would have to pay any guy to go out with her. Well, of course it was a joke. Not a really funny one either, Gwen. The truth is, I don't have a paying job. I've been very fortunate in that my family's done quite well. Don't tell me you live off a substantial trust fund. Actually, I do. My great-grandfather invented the paperclip. Ah! Oh, I don't think so. It just so happens that my great-grandfather was very close friends with the inventor. I used to hear stories about him when I was growing up. His name is Charles Wilson. Yes, I'm named for him. They call me Chuck for short. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I hope I haven't offended you. Not at all. Well, I really do have to go. Coming, Angel? Actually, I changed my mind. Whitney's still here, so I think I'll stick around for a while. You sure? Yes, sweetheart. Well, Gwen and I are heading out ourselves. It was nice meeting you, Chuck. Pleasure's all mine. Mm -hmm. Good night, Gwen. Good night, Chuck. Good night. Oh, thank you for putting up with all of Gwen's obnoxious questions, Chuck. Glad I could be of help. And how did you ever come up with that, that crazy story about your great-grandfather inventing the paperclip? Easy. He did. The stapler, too. Oh, I gotta go. See you on the courts next week, Whitney. 
I owe you, Chuck, big time. <laughs> Bye. You satisfied? I, I can't believe I was wrong. Teresa's not in love with you. I twisted everything around and acted like a miserable, possessive shrew. Ethan, can you ever forgive me? The papers on my desk have been moved. You know, if your damn papers have been moved on your desk, it's probably because Luis and I were leaning on it when we were kissing. Now, if you'll excuse us. Luis can go anytime he likes. However, I would like a word with you. It can wait till tomorrow. No, it can't. The father wouldn't like it. Sorry, Luis. No problem. Thanks for everything. Now, just what in the hell were you doing bringing that cop into our house? And if you think I believe for a second that you were just in here playing kissy face with him, you're mistaken. Believe what you want, Julian. But it's true. Luis and I were in the library looking for the brandy. We just got caught up in each other before we found it. And you needn't look so disgusted. I've already told you that I like Luis. I do hope you're not lying about the safe, Sheridan, for Alistair's sake, if not for mine, as it is. I'd be most disappointed to learn that you're involved with this cop. I am a grown woman, Julian. Neither you nor father can tell me who I may or may not go out with. I would think you'd have the good sense on your own not to consort with someone who views the cranes is in the same league with the devil. What are you so anxious about, Julian? If you haven't done anything wrong, then you have nothing to fear from Louise. How the heck did a fishbowl with a live fish get here? Got me. I knew we were getting closer and closer to whatever was in trouble. Can you imagine anyone leaving a living creature alone out here like this? Maybe it's some sort of ancient animal sacrifice ritual. Uh, gross, Reese. Say what you will, but I'd love to dissect that fish. Find out if there's something extraordinary about it that makes it appeal to witch worshippers. Nobody is touching this fish. I don't know why, but I feel sort of connected to it. Like I understand its soul or something. Case closed, she's mental. <laughs> she's just very sensitive. You could be right, Charity. I too believe in reincarnation. It's possible that you recognize the soul of this fish. Why doesn't she fall in love with him? They would make the perfect couple. I'm taking it home with me tonight. We'll figure out what to do with it in the morning. Help! Help! Timmy let down his princess. He was too late. Served her right. Do something, Matilda. Timmy got the bag of curses. You told him to. Now bring her back. Sorry, cutie. I can't do a thing without her being here in the flesh, so to speak. The hell of it is, if she doesn't turn back into that old hag ASAP, she could be a fish for the rest of her life. Fear makes us do strange things. I just want you to remember that you never had anything to be afraid of. You know, I'll never love anyone but you. Ethan and Gwen, he's kissing her. He loves her, Teresa. He only thinks he does because he hasn't realized he's in love with me. She may have him now, but I'm gonna have him forever. I wonder if he'll call.
Sheridan Crane. Answer me, Julian. Was it Luis who tripped the laser alarm to the safe? He claims it wasn't. But it had to be. And Sheridan was in his arms when I got to the library. In his arms? I knew she was the weak link. We've got a big problem on our hands, Julian. I couldn't agree with you more, Father. A big and potentially fatal problem. Talk to you, Well, you can see I'm in for another one of your lectures. Look, I don't know what you told Grace, but I'm warning you again. If you say or do anything to harm my wife, you gotta be sorry. I can't think of anything you could do to me that would hurt me worse than seeing you with her. <sighs> I could declaw you, Ivy. I could take away all the control you think you have in this game. I could tell Grace that we were involved years ago. But you mean nothing to me now. Nothing. Your father and I will be home in a few minutes. Okay, Mom. Oh, by the way, we have a new addition to our family. A fish. I don't know what it is, Miguel, but there's something about this little fish that just called out to me. I don't want anything bad to happen to it. Well, don't worry. We'll take good care of it. Timmy got everything you asked for, Talibur. But now Timmy has to figure out how to get you out of Bennett's house. 